The most important resources created by the We Do Art Advanced Learning Lab are what we call knowledge capsules. Knowledge capsules are training modules based on PixInsight projects. The basic ones can be downloaded for free from the PixInsight software distribution system. Once the capsule is downloaded, we need to extract the files. And here we have the PixInsight project on which the capsule is based. To open the project, we click on the File menu, then Load Project, and select the project. Now we can see all of the capsule contents in the workspace. Each knowledge capsule contains the image set we're going to work with, a set of process icons, and the capsule documentation, which includes links to external audiovisual resources like video tutorials. To be able to use this documentation, the platform must be updated to at least version 1.8.9-2. As it's not possible to save a project in a way that suits all possible screen resolutions, the first thing we need to do is reorganize the workspace. First, we reorganize the icons by right-clicking on the workspace background and selecting Arrange Icons. Then we move the maximization limit to the left so that all the icon names can fit. And finally, we arrange the image windows. In more complex capsules, the images and icons might be spread across several workspaces, and we'd need to organize the workspaces one by one before we can get started. The aim of Knowledge Capsules is to provide users with an in-depth learning experience where understanding the relationship between concepts is just as important as understanding the concepts themselves. Each capsule is a self-contained learning unit. In other words, users won't have to search for any other resources about the subject matter of each one. Each capsule has a central focus. For example, this one provides a detailed look at dynamic range management or how to manage the local contrast in objects with a very wide brightness range, where in order to see the darkest areas, you need to saturate the brightest ones. That's the central focus, and the capsule includes a suggested workflow. However, because the Knowledge Capsule is a standalone unit, it also includes other concepts that users need to know about if they're going to fully understand the main topic. The project, therefore, contains extensive documentation that examines all the necessary concepts. When we open the documentation, first we see the introduction, which introduces the concept of the dynamic range of an image and the way in which the human eye delinearizes the image light signal. It also looks at white balance and color calibration because understanding these is key to understanding the main workflow. In this capsule, there is also a section that compares the current technique with older techniques and their drawbacks. Clicking on each documentation icon takes us directly to the relevant section of the document, which opens in PixInsight's embedded web browser. If we want to work on the image, we can minimize the browser by clicking here. Once the browser is minimized, we can reopen it by double-clicking on the corresponding icon again. For convenience, the last icon in the list opens the documentation at the last point red. This will work so long as we minimize the window and don't close it, because we're working in a browser within PixInsight. In other words, it's a program within a program. If we close the window, we close the browser itself, and if we click on Continue Reading, it will open the document at the beginning again. That's why we recommend minimizing the window instead. One of the most important sections of the capsule documentation is the proposed workflow section, which gives a general overview of the technique. The mind map is also a vital part of the capsule. Here we can see the interconnections between all the concepts included in this learning unit. The mind map is useful because it often shows us connections that we wouldn't have thought of. For example, 
Here we can see that although the dynamic range management technique is based on broadband images, it shares knowledge bases with the narrowband and Hubble palette technique. Before we can apply either of these techniques, first we need to understand the basic concepts of image linearity, color calibration, and the white reference. As we will see in the relevant capsule, the white reference plays a key role in the narrowband technique. The dynamic range management workflow also has a lot in common with the LRGB technique. All four steps in this workflow are also steps in the LRGB workflow. Knowledge capsules also contain audiovisual content. For convenience, the mind map also shows us which video tutorials on PixInsight's official YouTube channel are relevant to each step. It's not just videos about dynamic range management, but also other video series about related topics. For example, we can see the video on color calibration with SPCC, or the one about using masks in the Introduction to PixInsight series. We can also see the tools used in each step of the workflow. The References section includes links to documentation on each one. The Mind Map also lists the PixInsight interface features that are relevant to the workflow. There are some interesting links here. For example, we can see that Video 4 of the Dynamic Range Management series uses interface features specific to previews, but the features used in this video are described in videos 13 and 15 of the Introduction to Pix Insight series. This tells us which videos we should watch to get a good interconnected overview of what we need to know. All of the sections of the mind map can be downloaded separately to make them easier to read. We can also download the complete mind map. All of these related videos are accessible from this section and we can watch them in the PixInsight browser. We can also enable theater mode. There are also links to videos on the interface features used and to related videos on color calibration. There are links to all of these references throughout the text, too. For example, here is a list of the steps in the workflow, and each step includes links to the necessary references. All of these references are available at the end of the documentation. The workflow, which can also be downloaded separately so that we can see it more clearly, is what's contained in the process icons. The icons simply reproduce the workflow directly, while the documentation encompasses all of the learning objectives of the capsule. Each icon contains a description that we can open and read. The description includes the configuration of each tool and explains how to apply the processes. We can open the icons and apply the processes one by one until we reach the end result of the processing sequence. Knowledge capsules offer a systematic learning approach designed to help users create new connections and learn new meanings, two skills that the team at We Do Art believe are important elements of human intelligence. The aim is to help you grow as an astrophotographer and enjoy creating your artistic creations in PixInsight. Four feet on the stripes in the Alabama highway Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping Took the seat next to mine